Good morning, everyone, and welcome to World Bank Live. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Srimathi Sridhar, and I'm with the online and social media team here at the World Bank. We're excited to be here today to talk to you about a program that offers an exciting starting point for a career at the World Bank Group. Now, uh, it's called the Young Professionals Program, and applications for the 2020 YP cohort have already begun, and they last through June 30th. I'm here with some folks today that can offer you some of the best insights into the program. So let's get started. Guys, welcome. Um, I'd like to start by asking you to please go around and briefly introduce yourselves and tell us what you do and uh, where you're from. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Ya Opong, and I'm here actually wearing two hats today. Um, I'm the program manager for the Young Professionals program here at the bank, and I'm also a former young professional. I joined the bank in 2003 as a young professional. Um, my career at the bank has been in social development, um, and I'm excited for this conversation today. Thank you, Shri. Hi everyone, my name is Elena Bogdan. I'm originally from Ukraine. I'm an economist and a 2018 young professional. I work as a country economist at the Macroeconomics Trade and Investment Global Practice in the Europe and Central Asia region. Hi, my name is Samir and I'm from Burkina Faso. I'm also a 2018 YP, and I work in the macroeconomic trade and investment global practice for East Asia and the Pacific, and specifically for Thailand. Hi, everyone. My name is Samane. I'm a 2018 YP as well. I'm Indian-Iranian, and I work in the Global Programs Unit of the Global Social Urban Rural Resilience Team. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Awa, I am from Senegal. Uh, I am an environmental engineer by training. Uh, I work in the water global practice in uh, Africa. Great, well, young professionals, and yeah, it is great to have you here with us this morning. And you can't see, but we do have colleagues from our human resources team that are here answering your questions online. So please, you know, engage with us throughout this conversation and post your questions online, and we'll get to them shortly. Now, with that, I'd like to get started. Yeah, um, could you tell us more about the Young Professional Program? What are the basic requirements? Who can apply? And uh, what's the timeline for the application process? Thank you, Shri. Um, I would say the first thing we're looking for in, uh, in new young professionals is a passion for development. Um, in terms of criteria, we're looking for individuals who are 32 years of age and younger, who have a master's degree completed, and three years of relevant work experience, relevant to the mandate of the bank, or are enrolled in a PhD program. Um, we're also looking for individuals who have what we call a T profile. And by that, we mean that we need you to have a technical depth. We need you to have an area of expertise that you can claim as your own, obviously related to development. But we're also looking for individuals who are fungible and who can take their experience and apply them to, to different contexts. Um, we're also looking for individuals who have really good team skills, who have good interpersonal skills and work well with others. Um, as you mentioned earlier, we are already accepting applications um, the entire month of June, um, and we close on June 30th. Thank you. So guys, if you're just tuning in, we're talking about the World Bank Group's Young Professional Program. Um, as Yaw was just telling us, applications have begun, but you've got until June 30th to apply. Now, keep an eye out for the comment section of our conversation. We're going to be pinning some resources and helpful links that will give you a step-by-step -step process of how to apply to the program and just tell you a little bit more about it. Um, with that, I do want to turn to our young professionals here and ask them a few questions. So, Samir and Awa, I would like to start with you, and I would like to ask you, what made you apply to this program, and how has it been so far? Um, well, I applied for... Uh several reasons so first of all i applied because i wanted to work on topics that were relevant to uh practitioners and policy makers um, and write reports that people and clients would actually read um, and second of all i wanted to work in an environment that was fast-paced and very dynamic with other change makers as well um, and lastly i would really like to be um one day the uh, Minister of Finance for Burkina Faso. So, and I thought working at the World Bank would give me the skills um, to be an effective finance minister. 
Um, my experience has been a bit different. I started my career at the bank, then I went to work for the Senegalese uh, water company. And at some point in my career, I wanted to come back to the bank and I felt that the young professional program would be a good way to start my career, restart my career, quote unquote, at the bank. Uh, the bank is a very great place to work at. Um, there are very smart uh, people, but also who are ready to share with younger, younger people their experience. And also uh, you get to work on very uh, exciting topics in your field. Uh, all over the world. So the, um, for those two reasons, I rejoined the bank. And it has been great so far. Uh, I work in a team that is always always pushing me to, uh, to do things that I'm not always comfortable uh, to do. But uh, it forces you to learn and grow in your, in your field of expertise. Yeah, absolutely. So, and so far, it has been great as well. Um, it's been inspiring, I would say. Like I said, I work on Thailand, and I've been there three times. And um, seeing what we've been able to accomplish in the last two to three decades. And for someone from Burkina Faso, I think it's been inspiring to see what we've been able to do so far. So, Yeah, absolutely. And related to that, Olena and Samane, let me ask you, what key opportunities do you see um, that exist for somebody who applies and is part of the YPP program? I think the biggest opportunity is being part of the bank. The bank is a leading institution in the international development, uh, the institution that sets the goals, the action plan for all the member countries, um, and also implements this, ac this action plan in reality, and working on this uh, um, uh, real things that uh, hopefully will achieve our goals, uh, is is very rewarding and something that is um, just inspiring in general. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And to add to what Elena said, I think one of the key criteria, one of the key unique uh, factors of coming in through the Young Professionals Program is you really get the opportunity to stretch yourself. So, for instance, one of the things that you can do when you come in through the YP, specifically through the YP program, is do a rotation after your first year. So you get to work with another team or in another global practice. And it's a really unique kind of support system that is hard to find otherwise. Secondly, something that I also really appreciate about the YP program, which is hard to find, I think, otherwise, is you come in with a cohort of people that really become your really good friends. That we are all working in totally different regions and totally different global practices. We all have different technical expertise. And it's so it's like a rich network and also like a support system of like friends nice that you come in. It's a really great way to come in. Yeah. Um, well, you know, for those of you that are just tuning in, welcome. And to those that have been there with us, thank you. Um, I'm here with Ya, who is the program manager for the Young Professional Program. And four YPs, I've got Elena, Samir, Samane, and Awa. Um, and we're having a great conversation about the World Bank Group's Young Professional Program. Remember to check out our comment section. We're going to be pinning uh, links and resources that will give you more information about the program and uh, just tell you how to apply. And uh, I do want to encourage you all to keep asking your questions online. I actually do want to take um, a, a pause and look to our online audience and see what questions they have for us. So uh, bear with me for a second. Uh, we've got a question here uh, from Karina, and she wants to know if you can please elaborate on what it is you're looking for in the actual essay. Um, do you have any tips? Who would like to take that one? I'm happy to say a few words and then maybe um, the YPs can reflect on their actual essays. I say what we're looking for is, imagine we get between five and 10,000 applicants for the Young Professionals Program. Um, and this essay really is your opportunity to shine and to really um, portray your commitment and passion for development. Um, obviously, um, your, your work experience and your background needs to be related to the mandate of the bank. But this is a chance for you to show why you as an individual with your uni unique set of skills and experiences would be an asset. So I would say don't be shy to let yourself shine. Um, yes, we want to know about your degrees. We want to know about your, your understanding of development. But we also want to know about you and what makes you tick um, so that you stand out and um, we can see why you would be a great asset for this institution. Did you guys want to add on anything? Um, I would say use very specific examples in your essay 
and do not go over the word limit. Right, so do not go over the word limit and be very specific it's in your It's always easy to do, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can add that uh, just be yourself. Show your professional life story and how it relates to World Bank mission. Those things, I think, the most important in your essay. The rest you will show in your conversation with panel and your interview. That's very good advice. Great. Um, we do have a few more questions. Uh, here is a question from Asma. She wants to know, do you only consider applicants who graduated from high-ranking universities? And uh, what about those who graduated from local universities? Do they stand a chance to apply for the program? I would say absolutely they do um, stand a chance. Um, we really are interested in diverti diversity of experience, diversity of thought. Um, and it's definitely not the case that we're recruiting from a very small handful of universities. Um, my colleague and I have just been doing some outreach um, in Southern Africa and going to universities um, in Southern Africa to really make the point that we're, we're interested in um, reaching out to candidates who are um, graduating from and working in universities all over the place and not just the handful of kind of select elite ones um, and we went away from the elite ones also so yes please don't think of this as um, a recruitment tool just for those who've been through a handful of select Ivy League universities that's not the case at all um, when we talk about diversity we really do mean diversity of experience of thought um, of educational experience um, and we take that very seriously thank you anything to add on YPs all right, we'll go to the next online question. Um, this is coming from Jan, uh, who wants to know, does the World Bank arrange a visa or residency sort of permit for applicants to the program? So once you're selected to the program, then you'll be given all the documentation that you need to arrange for, for your visas. I would say, don't, please don't worry about that aspect of it. I mean, the documentation will be prepared based on the, the letters that you get saying that you've been you know, being selected. Um, I don't know if any of our YPs have their own personal experience to share with this. We do get this question a lot, um, and it's definitely not something you should worry about, um, because the bank would prepare your, the letters that you would need to, to go to your embassies to get your visas. Great. Well, thank you for our online audience. Uh, keep your questions coming. And a special hello to our viewers from India, Pakistan, Cameroon, Brazil, and Nepal. Welcome. Um, so we're here, you know, having a conversation about the YPP program. And I do have a few specific questions myself. Mm -hmm. um, you know, yeah, I'd like to talk to you about inclusion and diversity because they're really important to the World Bank Group. And I would like to know um, how are they reflected in the YPP program? Thank you, Shri. Um, so we take very, very seriously our commitment to diversity and inclusion, as does the institution. Um, and as our flagship recruitment for the institution, we really embody these, um, these, these aspects. Um, in any given year, we have a very, very broad range of nationalities represented in our, our YP cohort. Uh, we definitely, definitely have a uh, gender balance. Um, in fact, in the last few years, we've actually had more, more women than men um, as YPs. Um, the bank has over 170 nationalities, and I would say that all of those nationalities have probably passed through the YP program at some time. Um, the cohort that we're about to um, welcome in September um, includes 33 different nationalities. Um, I mentioned earlier the, our interest um, in diversity of thought and experience and making sure we reach universities and, and candidates who are coming from different kinds of backgrounds. We, we really do take that seriously. Um, one other thing I'd like to say, I think one area that we'd like to do a better job of and that we're taking very, very seriously um, is a commitment to making the program more attractive to and welcoming of um, qualified candidates with disabilities. So we're doing quite a lot of work on disability inclusion um, to make sure that our program, every aspect of it, from the online presence to the interview um, moment um, and to welcoming candidates through the door is inclusive and welcoming of candidates with disabilities. So that's an area of diversity and inclusion that we're working on and we hope to do a good job on. I'm sure we will. Um, but yes, it's a commitment we hold very, very dear. Thanks for the question. That's amazing to know. Thank you, Yah. Um, now, turning to the YPs, uh, I've got a fun question, um, and any one of you feel free to for answer this one. Is there anything that surprised you when you joined the World Bank, and why? This is a great question, because I'm here echoing Ya a little bit, because for me it was the diversity, extraordinary diversity in this institution, in our YP cohort. Uh, and it both in terms of cultures and in terms of opinions. And it's a great also learning experience because it gives you this pers global perspective on any issue. 
and you take into account different views and try to reconcile them and come up with a solution to you know a global challenge uh, so overall i would agree diverse yeah um and something less serious i would say is i was surprised how good the food is at the cafeteria <laughs> That's important. Um, <laughs> most cafeterias don't have good food, and the food here is pretty good, I would say. <laughs> well, I have to say, when I first uh, joined here, I remember my first day I was in the elevator, and I was, I think, in there with people who spoke about three different languages, and it was such a <laughs> surreal experience for me. So, you know, kind of, you know, like you said, Elena, it is a very diverse um, uh, place and experience. Um, now, yeah, uh, turning back to you, I'd like to know uh, more about uh, career opportunities with the YPP. So is there a clear career path for, say, somebody who is part of the program as opposed to somebody who just applies for a job at the World Bank? Thank you for that question. Um, I would say that the YPP is, um, is the leadership program for the institution. Um, and at any given moment, um, the leadership of the bank in terms of our, our vice presidents, our directors, our senior directors, young professionals are overrepresented um, in, those, in those leaders. So it's definitely a leadership um, program for the bank. Um, for the two years that a young professional is a young professional under the program, they take part in what's called a development curriculum. Um, and a heavy emphasis of the curriculum um, is on interpersonal skills, on, 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 on um, team leadership skills. Um, and it's a way to kind of nurture and support these young professionals and help them as the, in their journey through the bank and help them fine tune their leadership skills. Um, there's also a lot of mentoring as part of the program. Um, yeah, YPs are immediately paired with a buddy from the previous cohort, um, uh, as well as having technical uh, mentors in their field. Um, and this is a way to really support them through those two years and, and to help them in the institution so that in the future they will be the leadership of the bank. Um, um, so I think there is actually quite a clear-cut distinction between joining the bank in another fashion and joining through the YP program. Um, and there's also a lot of visibility that comes with being a YP. Um, and yeah, I would say there is a difference. Thanks. So um, going a little bit off of that, uh, and this is for you, the YPs, um, what qualities beyond what you see on paper do you think a panel that is looking at the applications would consider for somebody applying to the YPP program? Uh, I think when you apply, you have to be very open-minded and be ready to be stretched because at the bank, you'll get to work with people from many disciplines in one team. And sometimes you would have to chip in in some of those disciplines. So. Uh, you, you come in as an economist or as an engineer, but be ready to also talk social sciences and environment. So just keep an open mind, basically. Yeah, I think something else uh, that is important is also how well, how personable you are and how well you work with others. Teamwork is really important because we're always working here on all of our projects with a team with diverse range of people with different skills. So, yeah. Um, and to second, I would say attitude and positivity are things that managers look for. So you can have the highest skills and be the best expert, but if you're a toxic person, then you're going to negatively impact the team dynamics, and that's not going to be good. So be enthusiastic during the interview, be positive, show your positive attitude, and that's something that we look for. And I agree with uh, all of my colleagues. I also wanted to add that uh, probably... Um, the leadership skills are evaluated uh, and those that are accompanied uh, with respect and tolerance. Um, so it, it's very important to show that you can be a team player but also a leader. Wonderful. Um, well, thank you guys. And, um, you know, it's great to see so many questions coming in from the online audience. Uh, I do want to turn again to them um, and see what they have for us. We have a question from Valentine, who is from South Africa, and uh, Valentine would like to know, what type of opportunities are there for women who are looking to grow in their careers in the innovation and technology space? And would the YPP be a good start for that? So who would like to take that question? I'm happy to try. I would say, I mean, the, young, the World Bank is, is a fantastic place for, for men and women. I think. Um, as I mentioned before, we actually do tend to have more um, more female YPs at the moment than male, um, 
and um, definitely there's a huge emphasis placed on, on the inclusion aspects and making sure everybody integrates and, and has a, a, a kind of a good experience at the bank. Um, my, question, my response when I get questions like this is always to turn it around and to say, have a really good look at our website, have a really good look at what we do in the areas that interest you. Um, if, it's, if it's to do with technology, then we, d we definitely do have um, a lot of work ongoing on, on technology and particularly in the IT space and um, how it impacts the world of work and jobs, etc. So I think it, it always behooves any applicant to really understand what we do, to take a good look at the website and to see where what you do resonates with what we do. Where's the linkage? Um, what can you offer in that particular space? But in terms of being a female professional at the bank, absolutely. It's a very, very supportive place. It's a very inclusive place. Um, and you know, you'll be very welcome with your skills. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. And uh, this is going to be the last question we take from our online audience, but we still have so many questions coming in and we do have our colleagues from Human Resources that are here for a few more minutes to answer your questions. So, um, you know, please uh, keep them coming and uh, we'll, you know, we will try our best to get to them. So for the final question, it's from, uh, it's from Nicholas. And Nicholas wants to know that if I don't get accepted in this round, is it possible to apply again? Great question. Um, I mentioned a to let you know, absolutely. Um, if you don't get in the first time, but this is your passion and you're committed, then then fine tune your essay. Um, get come with the more valuable you are as a, as to the institution. So. Without a doubt, um, if this is your passion, if you're interested, then reflect a little bit on, on what you and make sure we, we learn about you in the process of reading your essay. Um, but the bottom line is yes, you can apply multiple times. Um, you have to be 32 years of age and or younger. You have to have your master's degree completed and you have to have relevant experience. So make sure that that work experience that you have is relevant to the mandate of the bank. Thank you. Um, I just wanted to add to that that I'm someone that tried three times and I made it on my third, on my third try. So if you don't make it, they're going to give you feedback. Just take the feedback and then go back again and try and try a second time. Thank you. A quick word about feedback. We actually provide um, feedback to candidates who were interviewed, who got through to the interview stage and then didn't make it. And we make sure we provide you know, very detailed feedback on, on, on what you can work on, what you can improve on for next time. Um, because of the volume um, of applicants we get, we can't provide feedback to every single person who didn't make it. But if you make it to the interview stage and you don't make it to the program, then we will definitely give you feedback so that you can work on yourself and, and improve. Great. So these are these are all great tips. So Nicholas, it is possible. Um, so guys, with that, uh, I do want to turn to the last question of our conversation, and it's a bit of a fun one. Um, in one word, I would like you to describe your experience with the Young Professional Program. Uh, I would say enriching. I would say um, it's been very inspiring. And I would say exciting. And I would add the rewarding. I would say stretching. It stretched me to places I didn't expect to go mentally and um, in terms of my professional life. More than one word, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you know, I'll say inspiring. It's definitely been inspiring to talk with you guys throughout this conversation and learn more about the program. So with that, yeah, I want to thank you um, and Olena, Samir, Samane, and Awa. I want to thank you guys for joining us this morning. Thank you for those of you who tuned in online. Uh, you know, we had a great conversation about the World Bank Group's Young Professional Program. And remember that applications for the 2020 YP cohort have started and you've got until June 30th to apply. Uh, be sure to check out our comment section. We're going to be pinning a lot of helpful resources and links that will give you a start. And we'll see you soon. Bye.